I think we can all agree that chronic stress is not good for our bodies and can cause insomnia, stomach pains, and even get our intestines tangled up. The topic of discussion today is the ramifications of chronic stress and high cortisol levels on our bodies. Firstly, what is cortisol? Cortisol is a hormone your body produces in response to activities such as waking up and exercising. It helps our body remain alert and maintain balance. If our bodies didn't produce cortisol, we wouldn't be able to get out of bed in the morning. It is also released during times of acute stress, which triggers our fight or flight response that gives us a quick jolt of energy to motivate us and react timely. However, chronically elevated levels of cortisol can pose many health risks. Let's start with consequence number one. Chronically high levels of cortisol can cause blood sugar level imbalance and over time can increase your risk for type 2 diabetes. Imagine you're being attacked by a coyote. Your cortisol levels spike, which then signals your liver to release glucose into the bloodstream. Why? Because your body's trying to give you all the energy it needs to run as fast as possible. At the same time, cortisol halts the signal of insulin. Insulin is a hormone released by the pancreas to signal the cells to uptake sugar. The last thing your body's trying to think about is storing sugar for later use. All it cares about is keeping you alive at the present moment. However, currently, most of our stress doesn't require us to run or flee from a predator. So then what happens? Well, blood sugar levels rise and continues to be high because the signals of insulin are blocked, essentially starving our cells. This is also known as insulin resistance. Over time, this could eventually lead to type 2 diabetes. Let's move on to consequence number two. Chronically high levels of cortisol can lead to weight gain. Earlier, we had mentioned that cortisol blocks insulin's signal, essentially starving our cells. Since the cells are starved of sugar, the brain sends hunger signals, which could lead to overeating, where any unused glucose in the body is then stored as fat. A secondary function of cortisol is that it signals the transfer of triglycerides from storage into visceral fat cells. This is the type of fat found under your muscles and surround your internal organs around your abdomen. Now, let's move on to consequence number three. Chronically elevated levels of cortisol can lead to gastrointestinal issues. Under constant stress, there's less blood flow directed to your stomach and small intestine. This can lead to indigestion and even ulcers in some cases and a compromised mucosal lining, which ultimately means poor breakdown of food and absorption of nutrients. Remember, optimal digestion requires us to be in a calm and relaxed state. This means when we're eating, we should be sitting down and relishing every bite. Also, one of the roles of cortisol is that it stimulates muscle contractions in the colon. So this could actually lead to booster stools or even diarrhea. Moving on to consequence number four, chronically elevated levels of cortisol reduces inflammation, which sounds pretty positive, but this also means over time, it could cause suppression of the immune system. Without an active immune system, you're more susceptible to colds, developing food allergies, gastrointestinal issues, and autoimmune diseases such as Hashimoto's, Crohn's, colitis, psoriasis, and lupus. Lastly, chronically elevated levels of cortisol increase your risk for cardiovascular disease. In fight or flight situation, cortisol improves the delivery of oxygenated blood by constricting blood vessels, thereby increasing blood pressure. This is the appropriate response in acute situations, but long-term constriction of blood flow can cause plaque buildup and damage to the blood vessel, eventually leading to hardening of our arteries. You might be sitting there mind blown by the effects of chronic stress on your digestion, immunity, and heart health. My goal definitely was not to leave you feeling even more stressed. Managing stress takes intentionality and time. So before I let you go, I want to encourage you to do this one thing, and that is taking the time to enjoy your food. Give thanks, savor each bite, and chew well. Thanks for tuning in today, my friends. And until next time, relish every bite.